Welcome back to the Data Science Mentor, where I help you become and grow as a data scientist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and manage different versions of Python 3 using Homebrew. So let's get started. Recently, I started seeing many comments on the video that I put up on how to install and properly set up Python 3, asking how to install older versions of Python 3, and if that was possible with Homebrew. Now, the answer is yes, it is possible, but unfortunately, not that straightforward. According to the team that's managing Homebrew, they intentionally do not want to provide a paved path for installing arbitrary versions of Python 3 for two main reasons. One, these older versions could potentially break as Mac OS and Xcode and other dependencies change underneath them. And two, these older versions could potentially end up with security exploits with no path for upgrade. Which means it's not really recommended to install older versions of Python 3 since this can potentially lead to dependency and security issues. But unfortunately, some Python packages are still not compatible with some of the later releases of Python. TensorFlow, for example, at the time of making this video, is still not compatible with Python 3.9. And using TensorFlow on a daily basis justifies wanting to install an older version of Python 3. Luckily for me, I didn't run into this issue because the last time I updated my Python was when Python 3.7.7 was the latest, so I didn't run into any packages or libraries not being compatible with my version of Python. Now, one way to install and manage different versions of Python 3 with Homebrew is by using PyEnv. I'm just going to start my browser here and Google PyEnv and click on the result that says PyEnv Simple Python Version Management GitHub. And as you can see, this is the GitHub page for PyEnv. And as the documentation here says, PyEnv helps you install, maintain, and easily switch between different versions of Python. You can refer to this page for more information, so I'll leave a link to it in the description below in case you wish to learn more about PyEnv. And now let me demonstrate to you how to use PyEnv to install different versions of Python. The first step is to install PyEnv, and we will install it using Homebrew. So I'm assuming that you already have Homebrew installed. If you don't, I show you exactly how to do that in the video on how to install and properly set up Python 3. I have two versions of the video, one for macOS Mojave and older, and another one for macOS Catalina and the later releases of macOS, since the process can slightly differ depending on your macOS. So I'll leave links to both videos in the description below, and you can follow the video that matches your macOS. And just do up to the part where I show how to install Homebrew, which is minute 8 and 11 seconds in the macOS Catalina video, and minute 9 and 30 seconds in the macOS Mojave video. All right, and now that you have Homebrew installed, I will start Terminal and zoom in a little bit. And it doesn't matter whether you already installed the latest version of Python 3 or not. It is the same steps. Here, I'm starting over, meaning I don't have Python 3 installed. So if I run Python, it starts the Python 2 interpreter. Okay, so it installed PyEnv. We run brew install PyEnv. And wait a couple of minutes for this to finish. Cool. And now that PyEnv is installed, let's start installing Python. Say you want to install version 3.6.7. You can do that by simply running PyEnv install 3.6.7. And give this some time to finish. And now you should have version 3.6.7 installed. And to check what versions are installed, you run pyenv versions. 
and it should print that we have version 3.6.7 installed. Cool. And now to set this version as the default version, we run pyenv global 3.6.7. And now let's run python dash dash version to confirm that version 3.6.7 has become the default, but it actually shows that Python 2 is still the default which means that Python 3.6.7 that we just installed did not get invoked. And that's because, according to the documentation here, PyEnv uses what's called shims or executables to manage the different versions of Python. So we need to add this to the beginning of our path so that the versions that we install using PyEnv get invoked first. So I'm going to copy this, starting from the dollar sign, all the way to the word shims and to copy this I'll press command C and now switch back to terminal navigate into my home directory so I'll run CD tilde and just like we did in the video on how to install and properly set up Python 3 because I have macOS Catalina I will run ls a to check if I have a hidden Z shell run commands file or dot zshrc file in my home directory. If you have macOS Mojave or older, then you need to look for a dot bash underscore profile file. And since I'm starting over, I don't have a zshell run commands file in my home directory. Now you might already have one, but it doesn't really matter. So we will run vim dot zshrc to create the zshell run commands file if you don't have one or to open it if you already have one. And for macOS Mojave or older, you would run vim.bash underscore profile. Okay, and so for the rest of the video, if you have macOS Mojave or older, whenever I use .zshrc, you would use .bash underscore profile. So I'll change this back to vim.zshrc. And Vim is just an editor that exists by default in macOS and has two modes, insert mode and command mode. Insert mode lets you add, modify, or manipulate a file. And command mode lets you run commands such as saving changes or quitting and exiting the file. So I will run this. And when you run the Vim command to create or open a file, you open the file in command mode. And so when you try to type something, you will hear a sound like this, indicating that you cannot manipulate the file. Now by pressing I, we switch to insert mode, and now you can see the word insert at the bottom here, meaning that we are in insert mode, and now we can modify the file. Now if you already installed Python 3, following my other video on how to install and properly set up Python 3, you should already have an export command here, but since I'm starting over, my zshell run commands file is empty. So I will add an export command and set the path to be the pyenv shims directory. So I'll press command V to paste and then append the path with the rest of the current path. If you already have the export command in your file, just replace it with this command. Okay, we're done here. So now to save and exit, we switch to command mode by pressing the escape key and we type colon wq where w is to write and save the changes and q is to exit or quit the file. So hit enter and now let's quit terminal for the changes to take effect and I will right click on terminal and select quit and now let's restart it. And now I'll just run pyenv versions again to confirm that we have 3.6.7 installed and now run pyenv global 3.6.7 to set version 3.6.7 as the default version. And now if we run python dash dash version, it should show that python 3.6.7 is now the default. And if we run pip dash dash version, it should show that pip is also configured and is linked to version 3.6.7. And that's it. Now let's install another version of Python. Let's go with the latest version. So we will run pyenv install 3.9.1, 
which is the latest version at the time of making this video. Cool. And now if we run PyEnv versions, it should show that both versions are installed. And let's install even a third version. Let's go with version 3.7.7. So I'll run PyEnv install 3.7.7. And if I run PyN versions, it should print that we have all three versions available. Now, let's say you want to switch to version 3.7.7. You simply run PyN global 3.7.7. And now if we run Python dash dash version, it should print that version 3.7.7 is now the default. And any pip commands that we run would be linked to this version. Similarly, to switch to version 3.9.1, you simply run pyenv global 3.9.1. And if we run python dash dash version, it should print that version 3.9.1 is the default. And just to confirm, if you run python, it should start the interpreter with version 3.9.1. Also, although you shouldn't be using Python 2 anymore, but you can also install Python 2 through PyEnv so that you can easily switch to it in case you ever need to. Python 2.7.18 was the last release of Python 2. So let's install it just for the sake of demonstration. So I'll run PyEnv install 2.7.18. And now to make it the default, we run PyEnv global 2.7.18. And now we run python dash dash version and pip dash dash version to confirm that Python 2 is now the default. All right, and that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you think it might help someone else who's trying to set up and manage different versions of Python, please make sure to share it with them. I'll see you next time.